Hey, my name is Dan and I just spent the last 80 days in a truly fascinating country, the country of Egypt. During my time there, I focused on creating an artistic portfolio of photographs, images that I hoped would resemble paintings more than traditional photos. Luminar has a new feature that allows you to mask photos through color selection, which was perfect in helping achieve the desired outcome I was looking for. All right, so let's hop into Luminar. Now, what I want to showcase here are three different photos and how we can quite quickly change them from what we have into something a little more artistic, right? I think something that I've been trying to do recently is push the colors a little bit. Um, in, in most of my work, uh, you'll always see that it resembles somewhere right, like in the world, it's like a landscape photo. And I think that with this new com new tool coming out, it almost inspired me to try pushing the colors a little more, right, doing something a little more dreamy. So let's got, hop into the edit tool tab here. And what I want to do is I want to select the colors of the sky, but I don't want it to just be the sky, right? I don't want it to feel like there's a separation between sky uh, foreground and background so what i like about this tool the color masking tool right so i'm gonna hop into develop here because i want to play around with the temperature and the tint but when we get into the masking tool now with this new tool the color we're able to select a color so for example this color in the sky and you'll see that it'll permeate a little bit into the foreground as well um, which i like because it you know again it blends the picture a little bit more in the edit you're trying to do we're going to come back into adjustments and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to push this a little warmer and then push the tint a little because I want to make this like this musty kind of air that you almost you would see in a movie, right? Um, and I, I, again, I really like how this doesn't just select the sky, but it also kind of permeates a little bit into the foreground as well. and. What I want to do to complete this one, and I might do this to a lot of these, is add a little bit of film grain here to really complete the look. And maybe I'll uh, add a little less, maybe 23. And honestly, just like that, I guess less than a minute, we're able to kind of turn this photo into something that I find to be a little more artistic. Uh, almost makes you feel a little more, right? It gives you that cinema-like feeling of when you think of Egypt. Um, and let's see how, you know, we can change these two other photos around. I think with this photo, what I'm gonna wanna do is add a little bit of temperature and tint to the entire image as a whole first. And this time, instead of going green, I'm gonna go a little magenta. And now I'm going to then, on a new develop edit, I'm gonna now once again use that color to select the sky in this case. As you see, it kind of permeates and selects a little bit of that color everywhere in the image. And here, we're going to now push that color a little more than we want the rest of the image. And again, we're gonna complete it with a little bit of film grain. I even like a little more here to really give that, Maybe we're gonna Increase the size and less the roughness. And we have now the second image done. Um, and let's now hop into the third one. And this is a horizontal one. And this was one of the few drone photos that I took that I managed to find an opportunity to create that artistic feeling, especially because of the fact that it was quite foggy that morning. Um, what I'm going to want to start by doing is actually cropping this photo. I'm going to do a 21 by 9 here, like a little cinematic crop. I'm going to apply that. And once again, we're going to now do the same thing here. We're going to hop into develop. We're going to mask with, using the color masking tool. We're going to select the color around here. I like this. I like. I like exactly how much it's masking the foreground here as well. And we're going to, once again, we're going to add that. Oh, I really, really like how that looks. Maybe a little off screen here. I do like the magenta tint here as well. But I'm going to go towards 
green a little bit. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Um, and I'm not even sure if we need to add grain on this one. Let's take a look. Yeah, we can add a little bit here. And just like that, we were able to create three different um, feelings and photos, almost giving you this ancient Egypt feeling. Thank you so much for watching. Depending on when you're watching this, I hope you will have or you had a lovely holiday season and a new year. Um, I'll see you soon.